you know this subject are at the core of our vision, especially when it comes to international development. Actually, with Memories, we operate in about 25 countries, and we have had several experiences in Africa, in Senegal, Mali, Ethiopia, Sudan, or South Africa, for instance. And when we work in those countries, one of our priorities is to really work hand in hand with local communities and to transmit our skills. Because the important is that at the end of the day, they are able to preserve and to showcase the heritage on the long run. Um, so um, today we are going to share some insights based on our experience on the South Africa. We were supposed to have Freddy Kiae with us today on the stage. He is the manager of our restoration workshop in South Africa. But, well, we have been fighting for weeks to obtain the administrative document we needed and we didn't succeed. So, we are going to share a video and you will join us for the Q&R on streaming. Uh, before yielding the floor to Theophil, I would like just to give you a brief overview of who we are. So, Memorist is a pool of five French companies which are experts in preserving, digitizing and promoting cultural heritage. And one of those companies is La Relure du Limousin, or expert when it comes to bookbinding and to restoring old documents. I'm going to share a short video because it is the best way to let you see a bit what we do. So, as you will see, we work on any kind of cultural heritage, whether it be tangible or intangible. We work on the digitization of building, archaeological sites, artworks, audiovisual content, photography, textile, well, everything. We restore it. So, this is <laughs> La Relure du Limousin. And this is a good example that shows that we use both very traditional techniques and uh, very innovative technologies also. Because we can, you know, like that, um, digitize some artworks, but we can then create tools to share uh, all the data with research professional, but also with um, any kind of audience. As you can see with augmented reality, with all those immersive experiences. Here is a game in a castle, for instance. So it's very diverse. We also have a studio where we take pictures. This is all the part uh, dedicated to the restoration of old films, old movies and to the digitization of audiovisual contents. Notre Dame, uh, one of our company, Art Graphique et Patrimoine, is the only one in the world which had digitized the wooden framework before the fire. And without the digital twin, we couldn't have rebuilt in the same way. So this is Memorist. Um, well, Théophile. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Adele. I'm glad to be here with you all. I'm going to speak just uh, shortly about La Relure du Limousin. So I'm the CEO of this uh, French uh, company that was created in 1950, um, a very ancient company who has um, uh, built its reputation in the field of uh, conserving, restoring uh, cultural heritage, written cultural heritage, um, and also book, traditional bookbinding techniques. Um, so it's, it's a fascinating company with 70 craftsmen and women who every day uh, use craft technique to um, conserve, restore old documents, books, parchments, uh, graphic documents. Um, and so the, the, the idea of Memorist is to give and make available um, this expertise and the expertise of all the other companies that uh, Adele mentioned um, to different countries uh, um, uh, over the borders of France. Uh, and so that is the Memorist Initiative, and that is what we have been uh, bringing through uh, in South Africa across two projects that we'll speak about. We're here at Iziko National Museums of South Africa, and behind me is an artwork titled Motoko, which is a rock art replica from a rock art site close to Harare in Zimbabwe. 
Memorous South Africa and a contingent of our French experts came to his eager aid to restore and conserve this historic artwork so that it may once again be exhibited. So last year we worked on this uh, beautiful uh, artwork that was um, uh, hosted uh, at uh, Iziko uh, South African National Museum in Cape Town. Um, and uh, we were called by Iziko to conserve uh, and save this document that had not been exhibited since uh, 94 years. Um, the, the document was in the attic and it was completely teared and we had to work and, and restore, conserve the documents with uh, appropriate techniques. Um, it was a, a, a real, um, it was very difficult because the document is huge. It's seven meters by two. Uh, and we had to work inside the museum uh, with uh, little equipment. Um, what is funny is that a, a copy of this uh, document is actually right now uh, exposed uh, uh, at the... At the Musée de l'Homme, the yeah, exhibition the Praise Lomme, so many for those who have seen so, so we, we built up a team uh, with uh, French experts from La Relure du Limousin and um, uh, local uh, people from the museum, also local conservators. And, and the team we built was uh, mixed uh, and, uh, and, and we worked all together on the document um, in, in, uh, with security, with the right techniques. Uh, and the conservation was done hand in hand uh, by um, you know, people from France and people from South Africa. Uh, and, and that is the idea of Memorist and the idea of the work we do abroad. It's not to do the job for the, the, the local communities, but empower the, lo empower the local communities so that they are able to master the skills, learn the techniques, and do the job themselves. And, and if, if in five years we can uh, be of no use to them, uh, then we will have uh, succeeded in our approach because we want uh, them to be able to work on their own cultural heritage perfectly uh, um, uh, with whatever they need. Uh, but it's also a give and take because we also learn from them a lot. Um, and so I, I, the, the second example of what we did in South Africa and, and a, a project that is fascinating is uh, the University of Cape Town. Maybe you know that in April 2021, uh, a, a dramatic fire destroyed the, the University of Cape Town libraries. Um, you must imagine that about uh, 70,000 uh, books and pamphlets from the African Studies collection were destroyed. Uh, 3,000 films about uh, uh, Africa were destroyed. Uh, um, hundreds of documents that were amazing. Um, and so in 2022, um, people and volunteers helped put in crates whatever was uh, found uh, in the ashes. Everything that was wet and soaked was uh, fr uh, frozen and put in, 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 uh, in uh, cold rooms. Uh, and in 2022, um, UCT appointed memories to help conserve, digitize, um, build best practices inside uh, the place where they had uh, stored all the remains of what uh, was left of the libraries. Uh, and we've been doing this work for one year and a half. Um, it has now stopped because uh, of a problem of funding. Uh, UCT libraries is, and UCT is living a, a bit of a crisis right now and they have a lot big funding issues. Uh, and you must imagine that everything that was saved by the fire and that was put into cold storage uh, is now at risk to be uh, removed uh, because uh, of lack of funding. And so it, they, they, there is a risk that we will lose, ev they will lose even more collections. Um, and so this, the images that you see here are from uh, within the UCT uh, uh, locals, uh, the UCT uh, uh, places where we trained local people, uh, members from the, UC the libraries of UCT, uh, and people that we hired for the project uh, to the right techniques. And we built an on-site uh, conservation and digitization unit. Um, yeah, maybe Freddy. just to add something about local people that we hired, those people have no relation with or, um, or filled uh, with cultural heritage, with restoration, or mainly uh, for uh, most of the people, they didn't have a job. So for them, it's really um, something important in their life. And actually, you will listen to Freddy, who was working for Uber Eats, so so different from what he has learned uh, with Theophil and his team. And so this is really our challenge, to recruit people 
who are going to discover a new field and who are going to participate to the preservation of their heritage, because it's their heritage. We are here with expertise that we want to transmit. So Before here is Freddy. My previous uh, professional was teaching. I was teaching accounting in my a country of original, Republic Democratic of Congo. And when I came in South Africa, I had a partnership with Uber Eats. My experience uh, in the restoration and preservation started at UCT. It was a privilege for me uh, to work on the archivist document. The second experience, it was at Eziko. It was also another privilege for me to participate in the restoration of a huge ecologic map with memories. The practical skills that I've learned is how to, to restore the broken uh, document, because when I started, I knew nothing. Now I'm capable to restore the damaged document. I'm able to manage people, and also, I build a relationship with the, with the clients. Talking about the, my recruitment, Theo did approach me, and uh, he spoke to me about uh, this particular project. And for me, it was a new, a new job. And as everyone knows, uh, the new job is always challenging. I said, no, this is important for me uh, to learn something new that uh, it can help uh, and also it can also open doors uh, for me, even though it was a hard work. But I said, no, I'm going to take this opportunity to preserve and restore the heritage of Africa. Um, yes, so I, I started working uh, approximately in the same time as Freddie. We, we started uh, at Memories together. So he was working on the conservation uh, side of the projects. I was doing the logistics of the projects. Um, and so um, we, we, we had uh, French experts from La Reliure du Limousin come in uh, to um, uh, explain the techniques, um, help source the material. Um, uh, and we faced many challenges. Uh, for example, we, we, we had low shadings, so uh, you have no electricity for several hours in South Africa, so we had to learn with this. Um, there was uh, the, the difficulty to find supplies, to find the, the blotting paper or the, the Japanese paper, the right clues in South Africa. And we had to uh, explore uh, um, uh, different places uh, throughout the country to, to find the right uh, ingredients for the work to be done. Um, so it's been a thrilling project uh, with a lot of give and take, uh, both from uh, our, our local friends and uh, uh, the, the French uh, experts from Brief who discovered the new country. They, they didn't speak English, so it was also a challenge for them to um, go and work uh, in, in this country. Um, and um, the, the picture you see here is from the the Easy Co Museum uh, uh, drawing that was conserved, and, and it, it, uh, it uh, shows quite uh, well the partnership and uh, many different people working on the project, but working together in the right direction. And uh, you can think that uh, with many different people with many different uh, origins and, and uh, experience, it's difficult to make all this all this. Uh, all this group work together uh, on one document, but uh, it, it finally worked quite well, and uh, um, some some of them had uh, good ideas, and and some had other good ideas, and uh, it worked for the better. So um, it, it was a very good example of how we can uh, work together uh, and, uh, and, uh, and 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 learn how to restore and conserve one's cultural heritage. Um. Well, and uh, something that is priceless when we work with those people is to listen to things like that. <laughs> For everything that I've learned on preservation and the restoration of heritage, uh, my future, I would love to promote an education for African people, not only in South Africa, but across the continent, 
on how to preserve and restore the heritage. Because what I've seen, I've seen that uh, the preservation and the restoration in Africa is, uh, is forgotten. Some people, they don't think of preserving and restoring the heritage. They only think of today, but forgetting that that is the heritage of the continent. Because without those archives, you can't know how the, the history of Africa was. So that's my future. So that's it, raising awareness and uh, transmitting skills and working on community empowerment. That's it. So now we're going to connect Freddy. Ah, Freddy. Hi, Freddy. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Great. <laughs> Salut, Freddy. So Salut, maybe, Freddy. maybe you have some questions. Uh, re, bonjour, bonjour, Freddy. Je suis Anne Solène. Je travaille au musée du Quai Branly. Um, uh, I'm just uh, coming back to what you just said before. Maybe I, you said that how many people uh, did you were you able to hire locally for this project and with for, for your activities, uh, just to have a real notion of the work done with uh, with the local people. Uh, we hired uh, four people, four conservators. Uh, three uh, from Congo and one from uh, Angola, and also two uh, people for digitization. Uh, when we started this project at UCT in 2022, like uh, Theophil said, uh, we worked on 11,000 uh, documents that we, we were told to finish for four months, and it was a new uh, a new skill for us, but we had a very good uh, teacher from La Relais, Fabienne. She taught us how to restore uh, the document, and we did work hand to hand. Has a work team with my 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 team members, and we did uh, a, we did a very a very great job at UCT. And after UCT, we were very uh, very impressed with the work that we were doing at the library, uh, recovering the documents and showing people the new, uh, the new skills. And yeah, in four months we finished and they keep on renewing. But it was very sad for, for them to let us go in 2023, December. Like uh, Tio has mentioned, it was because of the funding. There were six people uh, that we hired, four people for conservation, two on the digitization side. Uh, and they were working at UCT on site uh, on the documents that were given to yeah, us. Yeah, because actually this is something important. When we work uh, in international countries, we generally work on site. Uh, we go with all the hardware, the machine, all that we need or teams to uh, transmit skills on site. And, and we hired a seventh uh, person who replaced me because I was living in South Africa for this project. And then when I left, um, came back to France, we hired a, uh, um, a South African uh, a man called Kran uh, Handik who replaced me. So the, now Memorist is seven, seven people uh, from different nationalities because Freddie is from Congo. On the team, there are three South Africans. One lady is from Angola and three from Congo, but uh, Freddie has lived for many years in South Africa. Um, and and in, in Cape Town, there's a high diversity of, of people from different countries, and it's, it's, uh, it's a good challenge uh, of having everybody work together, but it, it, it works quite well. All right, well, thank you very much. Freddie, thank you for connecting with us. I'm so sorry that <laughs> we couldn't speak more yeah. with you. Uh, but thank you for taking the time to be with us today. All right, thank you all. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.